Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Yesterday I am going to be doing my makeup and today I am going to be turning into a gorgeous, stunning goth. Yes, that's happening. We're feeling very gothic today. Yes, Tim Burton is going to be shook. Licorice Black is going to be shook. The world is going to be shook at how gorgeously gothic I am. So as you can see, I have already made a few um, adjustments. I've covered myself in some white Krylon, yes, in 070, yes, that's happening. And I've also added a little bit of black lip balm to my lips to make it look a bit more um, monochrome. But first, before we start, my darlings, I have to remove my glasses. Are they made from real Girl Scouts? Now the first step that we are going to do today is we are going to take this gorgeous brush which is a morph brush and it also has a little bit of purple in it still and that is a good thing because if you use bluey and purpley tones on top of this colour it's going to look even more um, artificial and strange and I myself am strange and unusual. So I'm using cremated in the Blue Blood palette, yes, I'm going to be using that to cremate my cheeks. And we're going to just very, very gently just contour our cheekbones. I'm going to look like a zombie, yes, I'm going to look like a zombie. I'm going to look like Lydia Dietz from Beetlejuice. You see there is a bit of bluey tone in there, which is absolutely stunning. Right, okay, we're doing the next cheek. Be very gentle, of course. Gently does it up into the apples of the cheeks. Just going along the bridge of the nose to make that look a bit more snatched and a bit more stunning, right? And then we're going to go a bit darker on the cheeks, people. Yes, we're going a bit darker on the cheekbones. And we're going to just darken the under lip here. Yes. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brush. Yes, this brush, and it's got absolutely nothing on it. I'm using this Cult Candy Cosmetics eyeshadow palette, and I'm going to use the black in here. And it is called Suzy. Now, if you don't know who that is named after, then I highly recommend you, you, you research who Susie Sue is. She's an absolute icon. Oh, wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on a second, people. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Before I... Oh, no. Right, I've just forgotten one thing. Before you put black eyeshadow on, you need to. It is absolutely vital that you do this. You get some Ben Nye Super White, which I have used to cover my whole face in. Dip that in this powder, and I'm going to just whack that all under here because the black eyeshadow is going to be so heavy that it's going to fall out on our cheeks and we don't want that to happen because we don't want it to stick. Susie from Cult Candy Cosmetics, yes. Cruelty free, may I add? Cruelty free. Now I very rarely use black in my makeup. Everything I use is very pastel, but today because we want to be a, a gothic enchantress from the dungeons of hell, we need to use pure black because it's going to look stunning around our eyes. Oh my goodness me. I kind of look like the Grim Reaper from um, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey right now. So continue all around the eye. I'm already looking like Uncle Fester from Adam's Family and it's looking absolutely stunning. But don't worry if it looks very messy because we're going to be blending it out. Make sure you get on those creases of the eyelids. Now I'm going to take this fresh new brush that hasn't been used before and I'm dipping back into the cremated from the Blue Blood palette. And we're going to be using that to just blend out all around this gorgeous, and we're going to smoke the eye out. Oh, it's going to be stunning. Yes, it is. Also, when I'm doing this, I'm kind of thinking where my eyebrow is going to go. Yes. I'm going to just bring it down the nose slightly. Not much, though, just a little tad. Oh my god, I look just like Licorice Black. Oh my god, Licorice Black, I am your sister and I have arrived. I'm going to go back into the Susie colour again from the Cult Candy Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to make this go up slightly in, in the corner so I have a bit of a a cut crease going on, yes. I'm already feeling absolutely stunning. I know it's not Halloween yet, but um, I was feeling very gothic and I wanted to feel my goth fantasy. All of a sudden, it came out of nowhere. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Going down the nose. And again on this side. Oh my God, my nose is in agony. Princess of Darkness has arrived. She's arriving and she's going to 
she's going to scare the life out of you. Before we continue with the eyes, I would like to add on my lips. Yes, I want to have big, luscious, gorgeous lips, but we have to keep it very desaturated and monochrome. Yes, we're going to do some lovely monochrome lips. I don't actually have any black lipsticks because I gave them all to Licorice Black. So I am going to have to use this um, grease paint. I've just dipped this brush, this very fine brush in there, and I'm going to just outline where I want my lips to go. Yes, let's do this. Okay, that just looks like I'm drawing on a moustache. Grease paint usually needs matting. Oh my god. I've gone from Morticia Adams to Gomez Adams in seconds. Oh my goodness me. Right, quick fill that in. The goth is arriving. The goth is arriving up the day. Oh my goodness. Hello. It's me. I've come to pick up my ex. I don't want the lips to be completely dark. I want to have some kind of dimension. So we're going to put a little bit of Krylon in the middle just to give them a bit of um, structure and dimension. Yeah, right, ready. Cloud Nine from the Cult Candy Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. And we're going to use that to just match the inside of the lips. So ready? Let's continue with the eyes, everybody. Right, let's continue. And we're using the Suzy colour in the Cult Candy Cosmetics eyeshadow palette again. And we're going to carve out where our creases are going and just fade it out a little bit, fade it out at the sides and on the top into the inner corner and then just slightly down the nose, but not too much down the nose because I don't want to look like Penguin from Batman. I want to look like a gorgeous queen. Right, okay. Next, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting some white Krylon and we're going to be adding on our cut creases. Yes, that's happening. Are you ready, people? Are you ready? Right, let's go. Du, 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 du. Oh my goodness me. Oh wow. Okay, right, she's coming together. She's coming together, everybody. We're going to use this stupid love palette to um, matte our eyelids. Yes, we're using, we're using Light Up and 911. I know it looks a bit messy, but I'm going to go over and outline the eyelid. Yes. Just going around the lid edge, just to make sure it's lovely and defined and absolutely stunning. I have this lovely loose eyeshadow by Sugar Pill, and it's called Lumi. And we're going to use that to pat onto the lids and make them shimmer and bright and absolutely gorgeous. And make them look like a mirror. Oh, it's going to be gorgeous. Right, so take a brush, any brush, pat that on and make, oh my goodness me. Oh, it's got a bit of a greeny tone in it. So my eyelids might disappear with a green screen, but I'm not, we'll see what happens anyway. I'm going to take this lovely eyeliner I got from House Laboratories and I'm going to just add on the, the wings. Yes, don't worry. I know it looks a bit of a mess right now, but it's going to be all neatened up in the end. Don't worry. The wing is going on, everybody. The wing is going on. I'm still raving about this eyeliner because when you use it, it doesn't leak and it just feels so hydrated and gorgeous and I just absolutely love it. Yes, it's absolutely stunning. Oh, look at that, everybody. Oh my God, she is arriving. The gothic queen is arriving and she's absolutely gorgeous. I'm feeling like a very, very feminine Snape from Harry Potter. Some people might think that you're to something. Let's just wing it. Oh my god, I've just made a bit of a Susie Sue colour from the Cult Candy Cosmetics eyeshadow palette and we're going to use that just to blend the eyeliner in with the crease and then to go under and darken even more and then under the eye as well. Same with the other eye. It's very hot today, isn't it? Oh, I feel like a beach goth. I'm absolutely roasting. Put that blue tone under the eyes. Yes, we want to smoke it all out. We want to look like we've not had any sleep for the past five days. Next, what we're going to do is we're using the white Krylon and we're going to use that just to whiten underneath the eyes. Yes, like this. Oh my goodness me. Inner waterline, everybody. Inner waterline. Oh right, okay. Already we're looking absolutely stunning. Look at this. Oh. I've been in a bit of a rut with myself because I cannot decide whether to add any eyebrows on, but I've decided, I've made a decision, and I'm going to add some eyebrows on. Yes, it's happening, but I'm going to use the House Labs eyeliner to do it. Instead of, I usually pencil it out with brown and then I go over with black, but today I'm just gonna go straight on with the eyeliner. Yes, are you ready? Now they are very neat, but um, they will do because they are looking very, very gorgeous, yes. Next, we're going to use some makeup or breakup um, loose pigment. It's very shimmery and it's very nice. We're going to use that to, to shimmer ourselves with. Highlight those cheekbones, everybody. And then a tiny bit on the on the inner nose. Oh, wait, that's too much. My lips are looking so gorgeous right now and I haven't even got any lipstick on. It's literally just black grease paint. Makeup or breakup 
highlighter and some white eyeshadow and it's looking absolutely stunning. Now I'm trying to be careful because I'm quite vigorous when it comes to makeup and I always poke myself in the eye. Now this is a lovely makeup look for um, a lovely sunny stroll down the beach. I've got this thing from Morph and it's a, um, it's a compact white powder thing and I'm going to use that to make my under eyes look very bright. Meet up with the contour on the nose as well. Make sure you do that very nicely. Oh my goodness me. So I just, I just added a little bit of a shadow under my lip to make it look even more gorgeous. These are Water Drag UK lashes. They're absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to stick those on my lids very nicely. I usually stick the outside of the lash on first and then press the inside on. A lot of people use tweezers but I cannot be after that kind of shite so I just do it myself like this with fingers. Oh I love your dress. Where do you shop? Black and Decker. It's been very rarely that I've been inspired by the gothic side of Tim Burton, but this is very, very Tim Burton. And I know he's watching this right now and he's very aroused. Looking absolutely stunning, yes. Right, okay, next everybody. Hi, it's me. My name is Licorice Black. We are adding a dot on the end of the nose. Oh, yes. And then a couple of dots up the cheeks, like so. Add where the light is going. Oh, I'm looking absolutely stunning. Look at this. Oh, right. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to put on our glasses. And then we will have arrived. Goth Birch will have arrived. Yes. I have arrived everybody, goth birch is here, she has come to crash the party. Lovely winter hat going on. Okay, no, I'm taking that off, I've decided I'm not wearing that. My life is a dark room, one big dark room. I myself am strange and unusual and absolutely gorgeous and stunning. Hello everyone, it's me, Raven, the acid bath princess of the world. Yes, that's happening. I am going to be creating a dungeon for the Jolly Desperates, yes, and I'm going to look very wicked and gorgeous while I'm doing it. Oh my god, I'm absolutely loving this look. It's looking so gorgeous. And um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye!